the question is is copyright music allowed on twitch let's talk about it My name is Martis. I make daily video about intellectual property, business, and legal. If you want more information about it, feel free to subscribe. I don't care. Yeah. Let's talk about the question. The question is, is copyright music about? Uh, the question is, is copyright music allowed on Twitch? Yes or no? Um, question is no. Let me explain to you so you understand, so you can like, get a clear view of what I'm trying to say. And please don't make dumb mistake. Yeah. So let me give you a clear view how everything works, so you know what you need to consider when you're streaming or not. So uh, Twitch is in this case a little bit special because you're streaming, but um, let's talk about it. So first thing first, you need to understand what copyright is. Copyright is just a law, um, a right that you have. Um, and it's by law and technically it gives you the right to public something or yeah copy it it's just simple let's not go deep into copyright but the thing is you need to understand how it's made when someone creates a music they have copyright on that music that part you understand they allow they are allowed to make decision what happened with the music or not so you need to have the permission if you're planning to use their music in your content or not and um, if you don't have the permission so permission is most of the time a license you have a problem because as soon as they see that you are uh, using the music without their permission they can sue you and it can cost you a lot of money and the question is are you willing to pay that or not that simple but uh, okay what does that have to do with twitch like i said you need to get permission to public the music in your video or content that you are creating but what does it have to do with twitch when you have a twitch account you agree with the terms so i go on twitch i make a twitch account i have so this is i i have an agreement with twitch and in the agreement you will find some terms about copyright is that simple and in the terms, they're saying you need, you're only allowed to use the content that you create, not content from anyone else. So you need to have permission when you're uh, creating something on Twitch or not. I'm gonna go deep into that soon, but what I want you to see is as soon as you create an account on Twitch, you accept their uh, terms and they have terms about copyright. It's that simple and especially copyright music they even have a policy or guideline that you can use in order to uh, watch the um, the when you create content but um, they even have a policy for music so I'm gonna show you that soon but the point of the story is when you upload something you need to have permission or something from you it's that simple so complica um, copyright can be complicated especially with music so we're gonna look at the terms and what you can find on it and why you're not allowed to use music as copyright on twitch or not so let's go to the website so this is the twitch website i give i will give you the link to the terms of twitch but when you're at the website you just go down and down you will find terms of service and when you press it you will come here thing is I'm already here to terms of service you see terms of service trademark policy trademark guidelines and you see also somewhere here music guidelines um, mm, I need to log into that otherwise I will give you the link but I have it here so don't worry too much about it so the thing is when we look at uh, music <laughs> things you see they have a specific terms about music you understand that to available tracks music work so what you need to lo do is look at what they are saying about music specific terms for twitch things soundtrack by um, twitch so that means when you are using the soundtracks of 
of Twitch. You're only allowed to use it on Twitch because you have a license for it to use it. As soon as you create a soundtrack, you also have a trademark on it. So watch out for that. But they have a guideline for music. That's the interesting part. They have it in different languages, so that's also nice to hear. So what's interesting is we're going to look at it in English. But um, you see, sharing music on um, Twitch. You see what they're asking? We ask creators only share contact for what they have the necessary rights. So you need to have permission. It's violated of it is a violation of our policy to stream or upload content containing copyright music unless you have approached the right or authority to share it. So you need to have permission. It's that simple. Yeah? If you don't have that, you have a problem with it. You see that here. Yeah. You may not include music you do not own in Twitch stream on demand content. See that? This is simple. Yeah. Sometimes Twitch provides you a um, soundtrack. You can use those because you have a license to use it on Twitch. So you have permission to use the music on Twitch. Watch out for the for the requirements. If you use your content somewhere else, you need to watch out if you have the permission to do it or not. So that's something also need to consider. Type of music content. You see here, they explain it everything. So just read it, hey. Okay? And if there is um, something wrong with your music or there's something you don't understand here, feel free to contact me. But I just wanted to show you. You have the guideline. I'm not going to discuss the whole guideline with you. It's simple. They make it simple so you can understand. Just remember that I told you. As soon as you accept the terms of service of Twitch, you have an agreement with Twitch. And if you evaluate one of the guideline of the policy. You, there, there will be consequence. Yeah, that's simple. Yeah. So, and remember, when you have copyright music, you need to get permission. If you don't have permission, you have a problem. There are a lot of sites that give you permission, but make sure you meet the requirements. Some requirements are too far. Some requirements are too simple. Yeah. So watch out for that. That's my story about this topic. If you have question about it, feel free to ask me. If you want to know more about it, you can also ask me. So. I will see you in the next video.